Roll the clocks back to the end of the First World War, Germany has been defeated and Europe can recover. But there are still thousands of dangerous explosives and weapons all over the place that need to be dealt with. So what do you do with thousands of tons of explosives? Well, they did the most obvious thing and they threw it all in the North Sea. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess. So close to Belgium's coastline was a weapons cemetery containing 35,000 tons of unexploded bombs shells, grenades, and even mustard gas. These were all buried in cement-filled containers that have been considered safe and, you know, out of sight, out of mind, uh, until now. So that was until traces of mustard gas and TNT were detected on the sandbank, uh, pardon marks, just a mile from the Belgian town of Nock. Luckily, the people responsible are being quite responsible. Uh, the governor of West Flanders, Carl uh, Decker Lue, uh, was, uh, he's basically called for the site to be cleared, saying better to do this now than when the leaks have gotten worse. Well done. Uh, Mayor of Nock Heist, uh, Leopold Lippens, has asked for a moment to consider all of the factors and to do this properly so we don't open up a can of worms or mustard gas without being prepared. So the bigwigs in charge are considering everything and working together to contain this potential environmental disaster. So well done. But what do you guys think? I mean, there are thousands of these munitions graveyards all over the northern French and Belgian coast by the sounds of things. Um, have you been diving off the coast recently? You, you know, you may want to wash your gear off a little bit more thoroughly after you get out. Thanks for watching guys and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.